Let's double check our build on Leland. We have these perks here on our lifesaver build. There we go, nice. But here is very interesting. We have fish hooks, grappler, seem like good perks in general. We have strength 50 in toughness at 40. And now we're running bad blood. Is bad blood just a bad perk? In essence, the way it activates is upon death. The kill that killed you, their output of damage is reduced by 30% for 120 seconds. And they will be highlighted on the map for 60 seconds. So your teammates have wall hacks on the opponent for the rest of the game. So I die, but I help my team out. This at level 3 does go up to, I believe, 50% damage for 120 seconds and 120 seconds of wall hacks. So this is a very interesting perk. Doesn't help me, but helps my team. So I'm going to try my best to be vital and help my team in every way possible. That's the route for the build. Enjoy it as we enjoy it right now in this gameplay. So we're jumping to the map gas station as Leland with this build. It's been kind of heated. Honestly, my goal is to protect my team. And if we get to an altercation where I think I have to die to save my teammates, I will. You know? What? Where am I? So let's go over here. I'm taking my time, which I feel like I shouldn't be. I don't get any reward for this. Yeah, this is a very fun build. This is a very, very fun build. So right now, I should just be aggressive and try annoy low face as much as possible. And then from there, make sure my teammates are safe. That's the most important part, making sure they're safe. Why are you coming for the bone scrap? Yeah, wrong way. Go for the unlock tool on the left. Bad blood is a unique perk. It can be classified as dog shit, bad, or actually useful. It depends how you see it. What's I saying? The eyes of the, of the beholder, and then you see the veil behind it. That's how it works. So I want to showcase it in action. And I thought the best way to build this build is a high strength build because I'm being more aggressive towards the enemy team. What is this? He's right there. So I'll make sure that he doesn't see my teammates as they open up other areas. Sneak attack. Open up the area. Nice. Everybody's moving. I'm going to stay here. Back to me. Get that all up. Nice. That's unfortunate. That is incredibly unfortunate, by the way. That is very unfortunate. You see what happened there? That is unfortunate. And he also had low stamps, so I don't know how he did all that. But it was pretty close to me, so. Someone jumped down the well. They safe? Yeah, hey, Hammerstead safe. Okay, cool. As long as my teammates are safe, I'm happy. Oh shit, we're not safe. Chase me, which is good. My goal is to distract him. Med's already gone there? What? Okay. He's changed all muffled out. No! Wait, who's hitting? I thought he was hitting someone. I think Connie dropped over. Yeah, Connie dropped over. Oh, I saved her. Or delayed it at least. That's a bit dog shit. <laughs> as long as that low face down here the whole time, it's pretty much good. What? Oh. What is that? My bad blood activated though. Bad blood is active. Survive. He does no damage now. For at least 120 seconds. I think it is. So now we've got the value of bad blood. Let's double check how good this is. So my teammates are in different situations here. They're actually opening doors. This is actually kind of good. So they should survive near death moments. Uh, Julie should keep on running. Do I have my voice comes on? 
Yeah, keep running. You got this. You got this. I put bad blood on left face. It does less damage. Yo, wall hacks at him. See? So it's so vital for information. It's actually kind of nutty. Oh, this is bad. They're going to die. Sissy's right next to him, isn't she? Sissy's there. Sissy's there. Watch out. Oh my god. That what was that? Why would you isolate like that? So the problem is, I didn't have bad blood on those targets. I only had it on the other people. Oh wow, she was getting choked out. Look at that. What was going on there? Look, you, the wall hack just finished. Just finished just then. So they've got information for that amount of duration. And that's supposed to help out my team. But my team was still pretty slow in their own movements. When they only had a 3v2. What the hell was that movement? Whoa, what, what tech is that? Okay, never mind. Connie kind of underrated with the tech. Hit here. Oh shit! Okay, okay. Let's talk about this. How she dodged that one? I could never dodge that one. Well, even with a thirty percent damage the reduction, maybe. Uh, Could be me. Stuff, oh, thank stuff. you, thank you. Man, I, use my, I, I use my perks every time I see you putting new stuff on. I always try it. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. As long as you're having fun, yeah. that's the most important part. Oh, always, man. Hell yeah. Thank you, thank you. Well, good luck with your next matches. Good luck. Yeah, you too, man. Thank you, thank you. Oh, that's amazing. That's kind of wholesome. So, Bad Blood there gave us some value, but not enough. And I say not enough because my team members were so isolated in their thinking. Style that maybe got them picked out pretty quickly. But that's no issue. That's no issue. We can work on this. We've got a next match. Let's go for a next match to see what the value is there. Let's jump into game two on that Slaughterhouse as Leland. And hopefully this time around, we don't die as quickly as I want to. I want to die actually a little bit later. So I want to put some pressure on the map. And when it comes down to my team being in a, a iffy situation, if I see them about to die, I'm just going to jump in front of it and take the, the shot, you know? Take the bullet for them so they don't die. I would agree, uh, that as well. Any points into the other thing would help out. But I'm trying to be as aggressive as possible with this build. That's my goal. Open the doors, please. I'm gonna fight Leland. Oh, sorry, not Leland. <laughs> I'm gonna fight as Leland against the face. Nice little thrust. Nice little thrust. Nice, nice. You want a little more, a little more damage? Ain't gonna reach. You got a little mini chainsaw. Ain't gonna reach. Oh, I'm gonna get him. You're mine now. Don't break it, don't break it. There you go, nice. Sorry, he was saying. Boink. <laughs> That's hilarious. Go around here. And watch this. Uh, boink. Sorry, let me get a second. Go over here. <laughs> Hopefully, sun immunity to cooldown is affected independently. So then I can actually uh, burn scrap him again. It's not independent, is it? Oh, well, it's not independent. Time for me to leave. <laughs> the area's open. Nice. Very, very clean. You got a bully, Bubba. It's the way it is. Is the way it is. He's over here. He's hitting someone right above. I want to help my team. I heal for nothing. I oh shit! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Big swings. He's got big swings on low face. Watch out. That hurts. That hurts. That incredibly hurts. So pressure valve is being turned on. The other door. I don't want to die, so I keep my distance. I don't want to die yet. What's happening there? Oh, he's dead. Oh my god, I nearly died. No. 
They turned off the pressure valve. They made it. <laughs> Ain't dying yet. Ain't dying yet. I gotta die at some point, but not now. Not right now. And I should die to level face to make sure he gets no damage. Yeah, I do think level three uh, level face is scarier on scout compared to big swings. But big swings is damage output. And if I'm up close personal and I make two mistakes, I'm pretty much gone. Or even one mistake, I'll die. Oh shit! Oh wait, why, why am I running from you? Wait, give me a second. There we go. It's like, why am I running? I should be running. He already recovered so quick. I actually kind of hate that. Well, I'm getting chased for an infinite amount of time now. He ain't gonna let me go. I tell you, he ain't gonna let me go. With low endurance, this is gonna be so annoying. You absolute imbecile. Uh, I had to say it, but oh my god. Somehow that worked. And that's how you outplay a hitchhiker. <laughs> oh god. I agree, American. Like, uh, the idea of running a uh, choose flight with the bloody. Uh, Grapple perk, it gives you distance. Without it, it's kind of annoying. But even having high endurance would help out drastically. So you're using run track instead. So you don't have to actually use your choose fly benefit in a close counter. Well, my team is having an easy game. I don't think I actually need to kill myself here. So there's a bit of opportunity that you can choose from. My other team may escaped. If not, I will kill myself right here and right now. I see what ends up occurring for my teammate. Hey Anna, you good, Anna? I have no clue. This game wasn't as intense as I wanted to be. Because our team members had a uh, good clearance and I was wasting their time as well. <laughs> He's grapple. <laughs> I'm falling. No. <laughs> oh god. Am I gone? Oh, I'm not. You're right, choose like gives you value because of the reset on your stamina. <laughs> oh god. Wait, what? Yeah, she's out too. Well, I didn't get any bad blood value here. No really interesting one, but I think we still showcase it either way. Because bad blood's always been one that's situational. If your teammates are having an easy escape, they will escape. And other times, they won't escape. It just depends. Well, the last game kind of showed that it can help, but your teammates need to actually know what they're doing to get the full value out of it. Okay, he's gone. Okay. They didn't see me.
Oh, it looks like, yeah, the Bubba Rage quit. Oh, wow, I didn't even notice the Bubba Rage quit. I have high strength. I can break this down quickly. Yeah, I can break this down. Look how quick the time is with 50, uh, 50 strength. They can't even catch up to me. Goat, GG. That's why strength is a great aspect for generator plays. I'm out. Simple as that. You start to realize that people build a certain way in order to fix certain things and or escape from a certain path. And this is the better escape here. Come back over here. Come back. Yeah, run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Boink. Stabbed. See you later, Cook. You suck, mate. You suck. Go, go, leave. <laughs> Played around with them. But there we go. Um, bad Blood is a very good perk in situations. Obviously, there was no sense of value here because I was being really aggressive and the other face rage quit. I was getting stunned a couple times from me and Anna. So that guy just had enough and just left. Um, it's bound to happen. If with the sun immunity, if people want to rage quit, they'll rage quit if they're frustrated. But it comes down to the other aspects. When you play as uh, Leland, you have the grapple techniques, low 50 strength, and fish hooks are just helping out that. So I can waste the time of the enemy as much as possible for my teammates to open up everything. And once they're able to op open up everything, we can leave easily. And I don't have to use bad blood. But if my teammates are having a hard time and they're bound to die, I jump in front of the way, take the bullet, die, and give them bad blood towards one of the targets that were being really aggressive, really strong that game. And they become useless for the next two minutes. And that making them useless for the next two minutes gives my team chances to make something happen through rotations of information from level one, it's at one minute, to level three, it's two minutes as well. Through constant wall hacks on that target. If not that, then just the damage reduction is enough for them to survive altercations or conflicts against that family member. So that's really cool seeing action. So a very unique perk, interesting. Uh, I wouldn't say they're the best, but it'd be better with a squad or a team. So when you die, you actually help out people that you know you want to play with, the aka your party, your group, and not just randoms that may just die for no reason after having bad blood been applied to one of the targets. So that's something to keep in mind. But that is our experience of this build. Utilizing, enjoying it. But tell me your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. I'd love to know. If you made it on your channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, follow us on Twitch, join the Discord, code Lordy Game Subs, 4 10% off, and also BTLMerch.com. So it's all greatly appreciated.